Hey superstars, it's your girl Malika, aka Miss Magic, back with another video. So today I am daunted with the task of detangling my client's severely matted hair. Um, and today we're going to talk about a touchy subject. We're going to talk about autistic children coming to the salon, how I deal with my autistic children and such. But first, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Give me a big thumbs up. Share this video out. Hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I do post another video. All right. So first thing being said, there is absolutely no judgment to parents, caregivers, or anything when my clients come in and I see that their hair has not been taken care of, there's always an underlying issue of why uh, a parent cannot take care of a child's hair or um, do a client's hair. I, this is not the first matted client that I have done, and she's not the first autistic child that I've done. I have at least four regular four autistic children that I do, and I've done several, several. We don't know what goes on at the house. We do not know the fits and the rages that autistic children go through and the parents just cannot handle it or the caregivers can just not handle it. So we will give no judgment of to why this child's hair is matted like this. Okay, getting into it, like I tell my clients, their parents, dollar store cheap conditioner is going to be your best friend when your hair mats and entangles up like this. I am using a dollar store conditioner, a VO5. It doesn't matter what, what um, scent it comes in. This conditioner is a miracle worker in detangling hair. I'm also using in conjunction with another detangler that I, I have. But when, when I say you're going to need this, because basically I am going to use the whole bottle, probably a bottle and a half of some of my other conditioner, getting her hair detangled. Uh, we're going to just start. Now, this is before we wash the hair. I am saturating the matted part with the conditioner while I gently, and I must say this, gently pull this through with my hands, with my fingers. So we're going to start finger detangling as best we can just the uh, ends like I say this is the first leg of getting your hair detangled this was a three hour job I'll keep saying it it might have been three and a half hours so and this is not a um, inexpensive service I do charge a lot for this but when your child's hair or your hair has become this detangled I mean this tangled and matted it is going to cost because I am trying to save your hair and not have to cut it off like I've always told uh, my fellow stylists or anybody who asks me when dealing with autistic children autistic um, adults or just dealing with children period you must have the patience of Job you must have great patience you must be loving to children if you don't have that, then you have no business doing anybody with autism or any child, period. Just refuse the service because you must be patient. There will be a lot of ouches. There will be a lot of outbursts. There will be a lot of things that if you don't have the patience for it, then this is not the job for you. Just do if you're a hairstylist. Each child dealing with um, a, a autism or not, a regular child, has their own temperament has their own breaking point. Some children need to take breaks. Autistic children definitely need to take breaks and you have to be aware of that. So I have to schedule my clients accordingly. Um, I was not aware of how matted her hair actually was. I knew it was tangled because I had asked for pictures previously, which is very important when dealing with children. Do not accept an appointment for with a child unless you have thoroughly seen the child's hair. So I always ask for pictures. I did see that the child's hair was tangled on the pictures, but like I said, I was not prepared um, to what I actually got. But I did schedule accordingly. She had a three-hour window. Um, and actually I did not finish within the three hours because I didn't know it was that matted, but that was okay. She did have a couple of fits while we were doing her hair, but that's when you have to know, um, a breaking point. If she was, she was at her breaking point, I knew it was time to a break for a break. I would give her a couple of minutes in between so that she could sit still, breathe and get back to herself so we could finish her hair. 
as you can see here her hair is basically dreaded it is um basically that means that the hair has entwined around each other the strands have locked and when i mean locked it's almost like dreadlocks so i have to go in right now i'm just going in with the ends with the conditioner because like i said i haven't washed her hair yet we have not even gotten to the actual scalp part which is definitely dreaded it is um, basically a big knot inside all in the back of her hair this is definitely a time consuming once again, this is a time-consuming procedure. If you do not have the patience for this, do not even book the service. Okay, so here is one of my best friends I was talking about. It is the VO5 conditioner. You can find this at Dollar Tree, Walmart, wherever, and it basically costs a dollar. And it is excellent. Whatever ingredients are in there that detangles the hair, um, it is excellent. This is the second thing I'm using, which is the Aunt Jackie's Instant Detangle. And this is helping out as well. So I'm doing it in conjunction. And I'm actually just squirting it directly onto the scalp and then combing it out towards the ends. Uh, like I said, I have this all in her scalp, which is extremely matted. I have not even gotten to that. I won't get to that until after I wash her hair. But right now, I'm just trying to get some of these ends detangled. And guys, while I'm detangling, I just want to give you guys a small testimony or epiphany that I had this morning. So um, I had, like I said, I gave her a three hour window because I knew it was going to be um, vexing. I did have two more clients at 12 o'clock that were coming in and they're used to being the only ladies in the shop and not having to wait. So when the child came in with her mom, uh, she pulled the cap off and I said, oh, I'm thinking to myself, oh, this is going to take a little bit longer than three hours probably, right? So she sits down in my chair and I'm assessing her hair and I'm just like, you might have to refuse this service, uh, Malika. I, you might not be able to do this. And um, so I was really about to at, tell her mom, we might have to reschedule or we might just, I, I might not be able to do this without cutting off your child's hair, which I'd never like to do. So um, this is all in my head. So something in me just said, and, and uh, on top of that, I had a stomach cramp and I just, I don't know, I just was feeling a little blue and I just was like, I might not want to even do this. So, but something you can call it whatever you want to said Malika, let, let alone her mom said today is this child's birthday. Or did I find that out after I started tangling? I think I found that out after I started tangling. So it had been put on my heart. Malika, just do this child's hair. You can do this. You got this. Go ahead. We're not going to uh, tell her she's not getting her hair done. We're going to do it. So I sat the child down in her chair, my chair. And that's when I asked, uh, I don't know what I asked. I asked something about her hair. And her mom said that her, it was, oh, no, no, no. I asked her how old she was. She told me she was 13. And I said, oh, okay. She said, 13 today. And as she, as she said, today is her birthday. I said, today is her birthday. Oh, my goodness. I would have felt so horrible if I would have declined the service knowing that this child's birthday was today. So that was my little epiphany or whatever. I was like, you got this. You can do this. And, guys, I want to show you something. You see this little smile I got right there? Yep. That made my whole month, and it made whatever I had to do to her hair so worthwhile. All right, guys, after soaking it with the conditioner and detangling as much of the ends as I could as possible, now I have to wash her hair. Unfortunately, um, while washing, this is going to tangle it up in the inside a little bit more, but I got to wash her hair. I got to get it clean. Um, I actually had to console her a lot while I was washing her hair. So um, because, you know, she just wasn't used to that. She was scared. She didn't know what to, you know, anticipate as far as more pain. This, let me, oh, I just got to give her her props. Uh, this young woman right here, she took it like a champ. She took it like a pro. She is severely tender headed, not really used to getting her hair done. But I just had to, you just have to keep consoling her, telling her she's being a big girl. Um, she's going to look so beautiful when she's done. I promise you, you're going to be the best birthday girl. I mean, you just have to use your words when dealing with children, autistic children, uh, the like, or autistic adults. All right, guys, I want to point out something here. She is waving at her mom. 
of autistic children or just uh, little children need to be in uh, constant eyesight of their parent or caregiver just for reassurance, knowing that their loved one is close by. No one is going to hurt them at all times. So it is important to let their parents uh, be there and see what's going on. All right, guys, so now we're into the second hour of detangling after I have washed. I had, do have those ends uh, detangled, but now I have to actually go into the scalp and get all of those knots. So I already used half of the bottle, and now I'm about to use the second half of the bottle because now I have to go in, and actually this is the hardest part of a child or somebody with matted hair is going into that scalp and getting those knots out. So that took about maybe an hour and 15 minutes and this was daunting we had to take several little breaks she had a couple of meltdowns but that was okay i talked her through it i calmed her down and we got through it all right guys so i know i am three-fourths of the way done with her blow drying baby when i tell you she had a major meltdown when i tried to blow dry her hair that was the third hour and that is why i ran over Blow drying her hair was harder than detangling it because she was not used to that. She was not used to the heat. Her hair was thoroughly detangled, but when I started blow drying it, and then, like I said, when you do blow dry it to get it straight, there were a few little knots left, and she clowned on me, and I was not about to have her on tape clowning on me. Just know she clowned on me. But we made it through, baby. We made it through. We are at the finish line because now all I got to do is flat iron and that takes 2.2 seconds. After our blow drying session, I wound up giving her a little break and I did my two clients um, that I had at 12 o'clock. And I told, just told her mom, just go, go ahead and get her something to eat. Y'all have a good time together and then come back and I'll finish flat ironing her hair. That way we'll get a fresh start and she'll be, you know, ready to get flat ironed. So now that's what we're about to do. We're about to flat iron her hair. All right, guys, and I, like I said, I, the reason why I keep it a no judgment zone is because mom got overwhelmed probably with what was going on, excuse me, what was going on with her daughter's hair. She is starting to mat up. She didn't know what to do. Her child is being homeschooled, so she's at home. And I'm sure the condition just got worse and worse until mom just didn't know what to do. Probably embarrassed to call the salon. I am just so grateful that she uh, reached out to me, realized that I, w I did specialize in children's hair and specialize in saving a child's hair. So thank God she reached out to me. I am going to keep mom on it every two to three week schedule if she does she made her appointment for the next two weeks if she does not reach out to me trust me i will call her to see what's going on i will stay on top of things like this so that her child's hair will never get matted like that again i did give mom a, a few tips and tricks on how to wrap her hair at night and to keep it from sweating out so guys i would like to thank you for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me. Give me a big thumbs up. Share this video out. If you have any questions in the comment section below about um, autism and dealing with a child with autism when dealing with their hair, then please do not hesitate to ask me any questions in the comment section below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, I hope to see you guys in past, present, and future videos. Love you guys. Bye.